Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me here. I'm sharing how I use the pop-up feature on my Silhouette Cameo this week to make my Silhouette Design Team cards for Paige Taylor Evans using her brand new Go the Scenic Route. Hooray, it's in stores now. And uh, it was just a hoot to work with. So I'm gonna be using the stained glass window cut file. It's one of Paige's, of course. Um, for this tutorial and I just started by shrinking it a little bit. I'll have to right size it as we go along. So I'm going to start by drawing the outside of my card, uh, the card, the part of the card that I'm going to cut out of uh, a pattern paper from Go the Scenic Route. And I've made my card 10 by six and a half, uh, only because I have envelopes that fit that size of card. Obviously, you're going to design your card in the measurements that you desire. And so I've used the transform box to set my card at that measurement. And I've used the color tool, the fill tool, to um, turn it into a lovely pink, just so you can see it on the screen. Now the inside rectangle, which will become our pop-up card, um, I wanted it to be just a little smaller than the outside because I wanted to see a border all the way around on the inside of my cards, like the B side of the paper that I chose to use. And so I'm setting that at um, a quarter inch smaller. And when you click apply, it'll be 6.25 by 9.75. Um, let's make it white so that you can see it laying over top of the outside of the card. So you can see it would make a small border all the way around. And I think I want a bigger border. I want to see more of the pattern paper alongside of the pop-up card. So I'm going to change that measurement and actually make it a half inch smaller than the outside of the card. So six inches by nine and a half inches, and that is going to leave a nice border on the card. So next step, we need uh, an exact shadow of that cut file to use um, to make our pop-up. And so I'm going to make a copy of it. Let's just right size it first. That's going to be about the right size. And um, I'm just going to use the Command C, the Command V tool from my keyboard. And I'm going to release the compound path so that I can drag the heart shape away from the rest of the cut file. We'll just erase those pieces. And there we have it, a sh an exact shadow of the heart above it. And we're going to use this shadow to build our pop-up. So I've just moved the inside of the card onto the middle of the mat using the transform tool. And I'm going to bring the heart over there. This is the shadow that we're going to use um, to create our pop-up. So I'm going to just change it to white and move my cutting mat into the middle of the screen here. So you might find the next steps easier with the grid on and um, it's easier to find your measurements. I can tell that my heart is in the top middle of the cut file. And um, so let's go ahead and use our pop-up tool with our grid on. And it's the third tool from the bottom of your toolbar. And we're going to first convert our selected shape to pop up. And that was our heart. And what it'll do is draw some bands and add the fold lines. But I want to set the bands so that they're wider and way fewer of them. So I'm going to use the first tool. It's the base width. And it's changed that little band into uh, a wider band at the bottom of the heart. The middle tool um, operates the struts at, on the top of the heart. And you can see as I move the toggle back and forth, it either adds or makes them um, wider. And so I'm gonna go with four. 
and the dash pitch is the how many dashes are in the bold lines. I like to make them a little bit bigger so that um, I just find that when they're small and close together, your paper rips more easily. So I'm trying to select the heart here. <laughs> there we go. Um, you'll see the red dots on either side. You just drag those off to the edge of your card and that's going to be the where your card folds in the middle. So there we have it. We're going to send this to cut and well, let me make group it first so it's all together and nothing moves after we put it all together. Um, so we're going to send it to cut. Now I only use the second carriage on my Cameo 3 because I have a problem with the first carriage. So you can see um, my cut lines are blue. Now if you're using tool 1, which is normal, your cut lines are going to be red. So notice too, it doesn't cut the entire heart and um, when we send it to cut, it will only cut the blue lines. I have a premium blade and I have it set at 4, 30, and 2. And I'm going to make two passes just to get a really good cut. So thanks so much for being here. Thank you Paige Evans for such a beautiful collection to work with and all the awesome cut files. Pop into my next video and you'll see the card come together. Likes and subscribes are appreciated. Hope you found it helpful. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.